All right, let's take a look at this new listing. 1.175 in Orem. And it's a little low, well, just a little under an acre of ground. 0.99. Address 507 North, 400 West. The agent has some pictures on here I thought I'd uh, share with you real quick. Uh, and he's got some information on here about it being a great investment opportunity. The uh, pictures on here show that's the front of the home and it faces east. And that's the, uh, the tenant's backyard right now. This is a flood irrigation culvert here and the ditch comes back here and goes into the backyard. I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute. Comes clear back here and into this and this is a long ditch right here. Goes back to feed the back part of the lot. Back here, all this wood would be removed. And then there's a nice, really nice grape vineyard that uh, needs to be trimmed back every year, but nice grape vineyard. All right, now let's go take a look at some of the pictures that I have. This is a outside, or excuse me, a, well, <laughs> outside, yes. It's a aerial view, as you can see, and uh, the, the current owner of the property went through the process to get this property rezoned into four lots. And I believe it's one, two, and then three, four back here, if I remember, remember right. But uh, I wanted to zip through some of these pictures with you real quick, just so you can kind of see how they go. And uh, let's see what we got here. So looking on here, let's this is the looking from the west to the east. You can see the beautiful views of Tempanogos. These are the two lots. These, of course, these split right here, and you got one lot, one lot here. Eventually, that you could build on, and then another lot here, and keep try to keep the house. Now, with the subdivision that has been uh, approved, uh, they want this house torn down. We're trying to work around that. And your agent who has the current listing uh, says he's got some connections and can save the house from being torn down. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to happen, but uh, this is that's the process that he's going through right now. So there's another view. Front of the home. the back of the home looking back out and this is looking west again this building right here is no longer there and that ditch comes back here and goes both ways and irrigates the grape vineyard here and the fruit trees over in here this is going in the front door Coming in the front, this is the front living room, and the kitchen is in this other room back here. And you'll see in a minute we're going to come in through the back door and come into the kitchen. We'll just kind of zip through some of these real quick. This is the garage. You go up these stairs and into this room, and it comes into the kitchen. Or you go upstairs to this room up above here, which is a massage parlor for the tenant who is doing massages in the home right now. That's another picture. Coming into the kitchen, as I mentioned, the front door is over here. Nice uh, kitchen cupboards, hardwood floors. The uh, dishwasher at this point is shot, but uh, that can be negotiated. That's the living room in entry area. This is the master bedroom. Master bedroom has a half bath, which could be converted into a stack laundry if you wanted. If somebody wanted all their main living on the main floor, you could put the laundry in there. Be very easily, very easy. Get another shot of the master bedroom. This is the half bath. This is the full bath in the hallway between the two bedrooms. This is the second bedroom. Notice the two tone with the chair rail. Couple of pictures of it. Then going downstairs, this is a family room that is finished downstairs. This is a work room, a workbench room that they've got downstairs. It's been unfinished. 
and the laundry room. So coming down the stairs here, you turn right and go into that workroom or the family room is on the other side of this wall. So this is kind of just another workroom, so to speak, plus the laundry room and the furnace room back here behind this room. This is going upstairs above the garage, the massage parlor upstairs where the tenant, current tenant, does massages out of her home. This is just a nice little picture of the orchard and the blossoms and stuff that way. But you can see it's got several fruit trees along here. I believe there's peach and apple, if I'm not mistaken. And, of course, this is the ditch that comes start. The culvert starts here, and then it comes back and goes here and waters this back part. This is the LDS Stake Center back here. So you cross the street from the – this is uh, 450 West. This is 400 West. Aerial view. Hopefully that gives you a little bit better feeling of uh, and picture and imagination of what the thing could look like. Hopefully that uh, helps you out. If you have any interest in this, please feel free to give me a call. 801-636-2697. Thank you.